What is up guys? Welcome back. I had to do some crazy kind of cool stuff. Some people wanted to see the morning routine and I thought I've always wanted to do a POV video, a point of view video. That's where a creator does a video where you see exactly what they're seeing. And you guys are always requ requesting, requ <laughs> you guys are always requesting to see the morning food routine and what we feed them in the morning and what we feed them at night. And so I had to learn some new things. I got the GoPro mounted to my head. I had to download an app and figure out how to make it look. So now you're seeing what I'm seeing, what you're seeing, what I'm seeing. Now I'm kind of <laughs> hurts my brain. It's also different because while I know I'm talking to the camera, I'm not talking at the camera. I can't see it, it's just on my head. So now I'm just talking out loud into the barn, into the into the nothing, to the babies. So I thought this would be really cool. I did a, I did this last night for you guys. My camera shut off. So I will just play through what I have. I talked a little, but other than that, it'll just be, probably I'll speed it up a little bit because you guys are gonna see it in the morning. I'll slow it down so you can see the food rations that we give them at night as well. And so basically, as you guys can see, you're seeing exactly what I'm seeing as I walk around the barn. So I thought this would be freaking awesome. So that's what we're gonna do. Enjoy the ride. And uh, I don't know what else to say, let's get started. I'll probably edit out some stuff, like if I'm answering texts or I'm answering comments or, I don't do much of that while I'm physically busy working, but it'll look like this. We'll go from standing here to standing over here. So now I've done a dumb thing and I forgot to even put any goats away. <laughs> Mochi and Mooney are stacked up on the gate, ready to go in. Gummy is just doing gummy stuff. Summer is getting accustomed to getting in this stall. Hi, Miss Cookie. Put muff over here just chilling. Just so you know, I brought all kinds of extra batteries this morning, just in case. This is gonna be a longer video. Cause I don't wanna cut anything out that's part of the routine or pertinent, so. If you're not down for a long video that is me walking around doing my morning thing, then... Hello. So I've been putting sprinkles in here with the queen bee and Rosie and Cookie because she's a bully in every other stall. So right now, put her in there. She doesn't mess with anybody. She doesn't bother anybody. Sometimes the girls are very cooperative and they go right where I want them to go. Good morning, Fernie. I do want to tell you guys that the Ferdy Fan Club, hi, you're so gorgeous. The Ferdy Fan Club is alive and well on Facebook. I'll put the link in the description down below. You guys can go check that out. He started it yesterday. I told you about it in yesterday's video and he's only up to 83 subscribers, guys. So let's maybe, Hi, Miss Cookie, you're so pretty. Pretty little princess. Come on. So let's go over and maybe see if we can blow up Ray's page for furry fans. If you would. If you don't want to, don't. Okay. This one I have to catch because she never wants to. <laughs> you're such a little goofball. She never wants to. Uh, cooperate, I guess, would be a good word. You guys might bounce around a little bit. I had to modify some equipment to... I thought I had a good head strap, but... During some shooting activities, it may have been destroyed or lost, so... It is now gone, and I had to modify some stuff. Hi, boys! Boys are up bright and early. Right, this little fat head right here. You guys see Sir Fluffington. So this is what I see when I come over in the morning. It's, I'm looking around watching everybody. And Fluff, he actually sleeps outside. Uh, I think it only dropped down to like 29 last night. It was supposed to get down to like 22. I mean, it was a 50 degree temperature change, but I've come out several times and that boy has been covered in frost. 
Okay, so I have to shut the camera off because I did a dumb and I have to run back to the house and get my milk bowl for Miss Frosty. Okay, we are back. There you go. Again, I'm gonna edit things out. I have to blow my nose, I have the sniffles, I have... <laughs> How cool little Frosty face. Good morning. I know, they say I'm training you up to be a alfalfa crackhead. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's get ready. So, every now and then I clean this up right here. It probably is worth doing every day, but I don't do it every day, so I'm not gonna pretend like I do. So our morning ration for the girls is one scoop of our mix, which now consists of Kalmbach, 16% goat feed, and Midwest sweet mix, textured food, just for texture. Now, when you guys see tonight's video, you'll see why we have four buckets up here. They're gonna get alfalfa at night. We do not do alfalfa in the morning because I want them to get out. I want them to go graze. I want them to get their rumen working. I want them to eat hay and grass. I'm already goofing up because I'm talking. What am I doing? I had to feed this one and this one or they'll just keep jumping up here on me. They'll do it anyway because in the morning, since they have a lower food ration, they will eat it faster than normal. Go over and get yours. Momo. Momo. N Momo. I hate wearing gloves. I can't get a hold of anything. Okay. I don't know if I ever shouted you guys out for literally making me laugh out loud. The number of you that commented when I did the goat eating ASMR video where I didn't say anything. And the number of you <laughs> who applauded me for my ability to sit quietly for three minutes. Uh oh, just bang my head on the wall. Okay, I banged my head on the wall so I had to get my phone back out to make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. I know ladies, I'm sorry, I'm not. First time here, first time, first time. Ugh. I freaking just did it again. I mean, am I dumb? Am I dumb? I'm dumb. Come here. So at night, I'm gonna have three bowls down. In the morning, I only have two down, or two that I'm actually gonna put food into. We have an extra goat out in the gen pop area at night. Whoa. Uh, on occasion, I gotta get all these food dishes changed out, rearranged so that I can just come in here and dump them. I'll show you guys in another stall over. Goat. But height is right at food height. There's no way to change that. Just is what it is. I could probably put the bins up a little higher. Yep, this is what she do. Hi. So I always do this. In the morning I only need six bins for the first round. And then I need six additional bins for the second round. And then two bins for the third round. That one's busted, I don't like to use it. That is the impatient ladies down there. Used to be the cat stall, because it was Cookie, Ambrosia, Tic Tac, and Struzel. It was cats, C-A-T-S. <laughs> I 
guess it's kind of a, I don't know another acronym for what's in there now, SAC. Struzo Ambrosia cookie and, nope, sprinkles, that doesn't work. Sacks, <laughs> I don't know. Good morning. If you guys knew how much this means to me every day that she is this active and aggressively seeking food. Ugh. Yeah, no, I need to get that one hung up. Good shot block there, Brosie. That's how I normally knock the bins out if they've been pooped in. That's the four pack. <laughs> this is what Ferdy does. Hi, Ferdy. All right, come on, Bubba. Get out of there. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back with cat food. Dagnabbit. I knew last night that I needed to bring cat food with me. Okay, so that's, that's everybody in the barn except for Frosty and Gingy, because what we're gonna do now is two things. One, we're going to feed the boys. So this is still our boys ration, which is the calf mana, mana pro from calf mana. Still trying to fatten them up. Beep, beep pulp. Boys get this twice a day. This, this is Routine for them until I'm happy with their weights and their look. Black oil sunflower seed. This has got to be boring as crap, guys. So since we don't feed the sheep anything but hay, because they're baby. So let me do it after this. Baby doll sheep literally get fat on air, okay? So they don't need anything but hay and grass. <sighs> Unless you're trying to fatten them up to eat them, which we're not. So here I'm doing two things. You watch, I'm gonna drag these two outside with me. So when I come back in, Anyway, okay, so we don't feed the goat, the sheep, but I do give them a little treat in the morning. It's just some alfalfa pellets. Fluffy boy will get the same thing. Now you see my night routine when I come out of here. I leave this gate closed. So when I come over here in the morning let Chunky Boy out. Feed him. I like to feed the boys outside because they fight over the food less. I don't know why. The dishes are roughly in the same amount of space. But when I put them inside, oh, somebody's got the poops. They fight over everything. I usually have, when it's really cold, I'll put a dish there, one there, one there, and then that one there. They just fight over it and run around in circles. When I feed them outside, they do the same thing, but not as bad. Not as, a, as, a, not as aggressive with their fighting about food. <sighs> I think this little man here is just trying to be the kingpin. Come here, right here, buddy. There you go. You little goof. So, I've put a lot of limbs in here when I was trimming the edge of the field up there. I put some limbs in here. The boys like to rub on them, eat the bark. You see, they just rotate dishes. 
oh let me go check this one. Oh, let me go check that one. Oh, let me go check this one but it's very much less violent out here when they're inside and i'm doing this they start attacking each other smashing each other into the walls i don't like to hear the sound of their bones smashed against the wall okay my little slide gate has worked pretty well at some point if i feel like it and want to put the money into it i'll go buy another gate a real gate and just put up there so gummy's gonna try to sneak in on me not gonna let that happen yep and then she's gonna yell the entire time i'm trying to milk come over here find my <clears throat> just knocked my camera again see what we're looking at we're still seem to be looking right in front of me cool they knocked my alcohol down it's hand sanitizer it's not just straight alcohol and then the juicy bits around the nozzle get dirt and hay on it. I don't know how much to edit out of this, guys. Um, we'll do this first one and then you let me know. Because it'll take me... I don't know, most people don't want to click on a two-hour video. Uh, so it's probably an hour and a half or so. Depends on the day. If I just focus on the goat part and I'm kind of doing a little bit of a, what I call a turn and burn, which is come in, rush everybody into their stalls, feed everybody and get out. I can do it in 30, 35 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. Getting ready to edit out a part. <laughs> just so, you know. so I'll show you guys the difference for mom rations. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Normal goat. In the morning. At night everybody gets one, two, three. Mom and milk. Twice as much. Plus a papa. Plus sunflower seeds. Come on, beautiful. <laughs> okay. So we use food to get the, the, the other goats outside. We're gonna use food again to get Frosty out and keep Gingy in. Gingy has never jumped on the stall door one time ever. Frosty, Miss Frosty. <sighs> you can hear Gummy banging on the door. She's aggressive this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and chain that. Sometimes she'll knock the door open. <clears throat> Good morning. So I have the camera on as wide angle as I possibly can, but when I get up this close to anything, it's gonna be probably difficult to see. It looked good on the camera. We'll see when I get to the editing process. And I'm about to speed this up for you guys so you don't have to see the whole process. Then I'll slow it down at the end. And I'll put the weight of the milk in there for you guys when I'm finished. She started at about six ounces, I think, the first time I milked her. And yesterday she was up to 9.5 ounces. But she's been averaging about eight, just over eight ounces by weight and or 0.5 pounds. Here we go.
Okay, that's the hole for milk. I gotta put it outside now because somebody asked if the barn cats ever touch the milk. I say no. Then the barn cats decide that they wanna start having milk. Uh huh, I saw you perching there, Miss Lady. Plus, I didn't feed them this morning, so they'll be extra hungry. Get that off of her. How impressive has she been with the milking? Just like this. <laughs> so she's down to, well, that was the last alfalfa pellet, so. We'll let her out. She's gonna generally run right to Ferdy. You wanna go get Ferdy, babes? <laughs> we'll talk to him. I'm gonna leave you in there, honey. That's pretty much the end of the excitement, guys. I'll probably cut it off here. I'm gonna leave the camera rolling, but step two or step 57 is while I have very minimal goats in the barn, I'm gonna just sweep up the floor. Well, you know what? Why don't I do this for you guys? Stick around uh, for the night version of the video, which will be right after this. I'll sweep the floor after I let everybody out. But after milking, and right now I'm hand milking because there's no point in breaking out the milk pump for one goat. I'll let these guys out, these ladies. Let out Gingy Ging. Hi, Mama Frosty. Don't go behind the door, baby. Don't go behind the door, baby. Right behind the door you went. Strap everything back. Ugh. Keep this pile fluffy. Gates get strapped back because goats like to go behind them and push them closed. And then what happens is somebody will be in here taking a nap, another goat will come and knock the gate closed and then that goat is trapped in there all day. I'll let everybody in. I'll go over here and I'll open the boy, the buck gate. And I'll sweep up this hay, get it in the wheelbarrow. I also have to strap these doors back like this because the goats like to rub on them as you can see you can see the dirty goat mark all the way down the barn they just like to she was just rubbing so they like to just drag their body down the barn it's a, it's a nice little I don't know if it's a massage or a scratch but <laughs> that's what they like to do I will let the bucky boys out into the big pasture for them it's actually a, roughly the same size. This side's a little smaller than this side, but... Let them out so they can free range all day. He'll want to go in there and see if there's any food left. And then what I do is sweep the floor, fill water buckets. Eh, it did freeze. Just fill water buckets, sweep the floor, wheelbarrow the hay and poop over to the field and get eyes on everybody, make sure everybody looks good. Since Little Mama is due on somewhere between March 3rd and March 10th, she's rolling right up on her due date, so definitely like to get in her face, check her eyes, check her little body, and definitely check the backside. Hump abuse. Yes. <sighs> Ferdinand, he's gonna end up going in with the bucks. Since he's a little guy, it makes me nervous to throw him in there. Uh, Latte is definitely going to be his biggest issue because Latte is closer to his size. The big boys won't be intimidated by him, so they won't they won't really mess with him unless he messes with them. I just worry about just putting one single buck in there, but it just is what it is. It's new for us this year, something like this that we've never done before with having a single buckling. <laughs> she has all but shut him off from from nursing and I think it's because of his size. I mean, if you look at him, he's almost as big as Gummy. You get that single, you get that single, <laughs> what was that? 
you get that single kid that gets all that nutrition all that he can get all day and that goat milk you guys know is just super nutritious high protein high butter fat and he gets all of that so he's a stout little dude that's it for the morning routine really guys it's the kind of shortened version of it it's not too short i just went a little faster than i normally do for you guys so you could not have to watch an hour and a half video and then i will cut away from here and we'll go to the night video so the video is still going to be pretty long i'll try to cut it down as much as i can without eliminating any pertinent information strizzle you're you're slightly too big for that hun all right guys what is up right now i am doing yes it's dark this is how i do chores at night so i thought i would give you a shot this is me 365 days a year seven days a week every night in the dark doing chores but this is me every night guys i had to actually hold on a second that's what your boy's looking like right there i had to strap the light so i had to strap the light around my neck because if i put it up where the camera is it would obviously blind the camera but you guys are seeing exactly what i'm seeing now i don't have my windsock on because the head mount for the gopro does not work well with the with the mod okay so well frosty mama's already in there so she's generally in this stall ferdinand is not of course Ooh, that's okay buddy put him in with his mama it's your mama bubba don't run off i don't want to have to catch you again because she's already in there god this is so weird guys oh so i forgot my barn lights i was going to bring extra lights over tonight so you guys be able to see a little better so i have to go back and get those per use all right guys back in the barn got my lights up there it's weird because my preview is slower than because it's bluetooth so it's slower so i stuck my arm out two seconds ago got my other light up there okay perfect i'm gonna drop the phone put the girls away show you guys the process oh hi momo mo moo Ticky. Oh. I saw Struzel running here. Sugar Pie knows where her stall is. Struzy booze. Come on, baby. You know where. Struzel likes to uh, test. Occasionally she'll go in put in a muffin stall. Occasionally she'll go in sugar pie stall. Okay. Okay. Licorice. Bye bye bye. Gummy gums. Gingy. And sparky sparks. Now I feed the sheep out on the porch because they cannot have the goat food. These guys, I missed you. Until we get everything rearranged, re-rearranged. This is kind of where everybody eats at night. Come on, baby. Sprinkles I had to put in here with Cookie and Struzel and Brosie because she's a bully. So she, it's worked out very well to have her just, just in the queen bee stall. Gummy doing gummy stuff. So I have the camera on and once I close the app, it's not allowing me to go back to preview mode. So I just have to hope it's still pointing everywhere it's supposed to be pointing. Momo, Mooney. Now I have to feed Mochi over here in the corner because Mooney will come over here and try to bully her way into her food dish. I am missing two containers. This is not unusual, y'all. As soon as milk season starts, I start leaving my containers up on the wall there and then I forget that they're there. <laughs> so then I have to go back and get them.
Hi, Beauty Buttes. What are you doing? Now, since Frosty is in milk, she gets a big, a big, a teeny teen. And then everybody else, till they get into milk. So somebody asked if we do flush rations, and, and not necessarily. Uh, this time of year, we're feeding them up pretty heavy anyway. In the morning, they're only gonna get this and the black oil sunflower seeds because I want them to get out and forage, move around, get their rumen working, eat hay, go out in the pasture, and if I feed them heavy in the morning, they won't do that. So prior to breeding and winter and kitty season, yes, we do increase their food. But otherwise, no, not, not necessarily what you would consider flush rationing, where you just add a tremendous amount of food. I knew I shorted myself one. Welcome to me. Now the question is, do I, well, I have to, I have to just make one and go on about my business because I don't have enough cups to, to do nine. I have seven cups. I get chatty and then turn on this light so you guys can see when I'm over here. Hi, Miss Lady. And your sister. I hope you guys can't hear my radio in my ear because a radio. Who listens to the radio? So now I should have four, five, six goats left to feed. Sometimes they get grouchy, as you just heard, while they're waiting. I need to replace that bin with this bin. So for now, it's just on the floor. Cookie always flips her bin up, as you can see there. Actually, I don't know if she does it or somebody else is doing it. Yep, thank you, ma'am. Last two goats. Oh man, I forgot to bring the cat food. Sometimes they poop in the containers. Hopefully I'll have enough in here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Bootsy Baby. Sorry. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have enough. This has worked pretty well because if I get their food dishes far enough apart, they won't run back and forth. It's like she'll force Gummy off. Gummy will run back to her bowl. She'll run back to her bowl. They just they trade and they're just, it's just what they do. I've been feeding the boys outside. You'll see in a second. I hope you guys don't find this terribly boring. It was kind of like a, a zombie movie. I don't even know if it was a zombie movie. I don't even remember what it was called. It was so awesome. It was like the first POV whole movie that I, I ever saw watched and it was uh from the point of view of the main character the whole time you never really saw his face until like right at the end 
And it was, I just thought it was really, really cool. Somebody's down there fighting over food. They all have the same amount. So this is for the boys. And we're just gonna keep this ration going until we get Jack fattened up. And then the sheep, Chatty Kathy messing it up. Okay, Gummy's gonna try to sneak out the door. I'm going to block her with my leg. Little weenie. Hi boys. All right, come on. Oh no, just stay in there, buddy. Stay in there. Thank you. And then I will strap this gate closed. So Fluff doesn't get in there and steal all the boys' food. So since it is nice outside, feeding the boys outside sp splits them up a little bit. They don't fight over the food as much. Jack's a smart one because he's the king bee. So I feed him inside and then so I'm just gonna chill out here in the barn, in the buck barn for a few minutes. I usually have a light on, but I don't wanna blind the camera. So I'll just pop into the video and I'll hit the comments. So I'm just gonna chill out. Guys, I'm gonna cut the camera off. I'll hang out in here until the, hi, are you sucking on my shirt? <laughs> What's up, big boy? What's up, big guy? What are you doing, buddy? Are you sucking on my shirt? He's like a big baby. He's like a big baby. Hi. I know, you're a teenager, you're, you're a little weenie pants. Yeah, don't touch me. Look at your little, you're getting your daddy's bangs right there, Bubba. Getting your daddy's bangs. Look at those bangs. Look at those bangs. This guy has been just a lover since we got him. He kind of reminds me, he's very much in that same category as um, ginger, licorice, sugar pie. He likes to come, he'll come up and just like suck on your shirt like that. Huh, Bubba? <laughs> hey, you're still in my phone, man. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to punch you in the nose. He just tried to run off of my phone. Get out of here, you goof. So not all the boys have the bangs, guys. Mello doesn't have any bangs. But Jack has those fabulous bangs. So Nix doesn't have the bangs, but Jack has those bangs. Oh, buddy, you're blowing your undercoat. You're just gross. I think they're about pretty much done. I was gonna cut off the camera, but uh, they're finished. Fat man, he's usually done eating in a couple minutes. So I'll just let him in. Come on, bubba. Go on, chunky boy. Go on, chunky boy. <laughs> Get out of here. You're such a goof. You big love bug. Yeah, you're a big... Okay, now I gotta mush ya. No, I don't want you fighting me. Such a weenie. So I'll just leave that goat strap closed for the night. Just so they're not out here wandering about. Even though, uh, I think Fluff sleeps outside almost every night. He just likes it. I'll come over here some mornings and he'll literally have frost on his person. But these guys are built for temperatures far worse than we ever get here. Now Gummy's gonna run outside because I'm gonna run the sheep in. Gummy's gonna run out. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do this. Come on, Gum, come on. Okay, that's normally what happens. Rattle the food bin, but you know, you turn on the camera and everybody makes a liar out of you. So, yeah guys, I um, when I always complain about the floor, this is just from today. So, you know, when I come over here in the morning, you guys see me kick the camera on if I hadn't swept yet. That's because the floor, Looks like this already, and they're gonna have another 10 hours to just make a mess in here. Hi, Gummy Gum Bears. Are you and I ever gonna be friends? Maybe. <laughs> You're such a goober. So that's pretty much it on a turn and burn. Now on a normal night, I would go much slower. I 
give everybody a good look, make sure everybody's, not that I haven't, I think subconsciously I'm watching, watching, watching. These two are slow eaters, so I'll come back and let them out last. Gotta make sure I get water in here for Frosty. Like the milk girls to have water at night as well. It's probably nasty, yep. Uh, Cause I leave this open during the day and every, come on guys, you don't have to poop in it. So I'll leave this stall open during the day and everybody comes in here and drinks. And that's why I don't like beards because they get hay in their beard, they get dirt in their beard and then they pop that in the water. So I like milk moms to have water at night. The rest of the girls, obviously they have water at night as well, but she'll stay locked up in there. Put Gingy in there with her. Come on, baby. Come on. So Gingy is Frosty's buddy. They do the buddy thing at night. Ferdy always tries to escape. He'll go over the wall. Now you guys will see when we when we get into more babies, we'll put babies in this stall at night. It's kind of like the nursery stall. And when we have more than one, they would just go in there. They're quite capable of keeping each other warm. This is Ferdy every night. Clabs up in his bin there. <laughs> You're such a silly goose. He likes his bin. So Ferdy spends the night with Licorice. Um, so he has a cuddle buddy. And then everybody else, we just let out into Gen Pop. This is a good practice for us because, yeah, I know sheep. Sheep are gonna try to run around and find any remnants of food. It's good for us to have the goats free range at night because when we do get into kidding scenarios, we'll have plenty of stalls that way. We've never had this many goats before, so this will give us the opportunity to stall the moms and leave everybody else out here in Gen Pop. 